about the upcoming elections and go beyond the major party candidates. We speak with Christina Tobin. She's the founder of the Free and Equal Elections Foundation and an election reform advocate. Christina, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you so much for having me today. For sure. Now, Christina, you speak to a diverse array of Americans from all around the country, often those who are unhappy with our current political system. From what you hear, what are some of the top issues that voters care about when it comes to the current political order? Yes, I sit here as an election reform expert. I've been in the arena for 25 years, and the top issues in the United States, several that weren't even uh, expressed at the BP debate, is the war, the funding, Israel. Americans don't want war. There's people in office that just don't represent us. They represent big money, lobbyists, powers that be. Uh, to uh, the inflation and debt and the crisis going on with uh, the domestic disaster response that is going on in uh, Carolina and now Florida possibly on the horizon. So these are some of the topics, health care, uh, immigration, uh, that uh, are very important to Americans and many, many more. And in your view, how has Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and his endorsement of Trump changed the race? Well, what's happened is we have uh, two parties, really one party, Democrats and Republicans alike, that are beholden to big money, uh, from APAC to lobbyists to powers that be. And with Kennedy uh, dropping out as an independent, in fact, I helped get him on the ballot in several states. I do ballot access as well. Uh, having collected millions of signatures and organizing for 25 years. So uh, what's happening and what's forming is some would say an insular right-leaning movement, which is great. It's part of the process. Uh, but is it going to be big enough? Is it a truly independent movement? No, it is not. But, uh, you know, he's followed his heart and uh, he's got to do what's right for him. Through RFK Jr.'s influence, Trump has now begun making health a campaign issue. Historically, how have third party candidates influenced the issues and platforms adopted by the main two parties? Well, I'm the founder of, of Free and Equal Elections. You can go to freeandequal.org for more information. And we see candidates, we see beyond the political party lines. The Constitution has no mention of political parties. And I've seen firsthand this past 25 years as even third parties, of course, the two parties, they become larger, they inevitably become infiltrated. So I think political parties don't work. Uh, so I see uh, the third, fourth, and fifth largest parties, which is the Green Party, Dr. Jill Stein, uh, Chase Oliver, who's running with the Libertarian Party as a president, Randall Terry with the Constitution Party as individuals. I see them uh, from a standpoint of for the issues that they stand for beyond the political lines. And I can say the same for uh, Mr. Trump and Harris as well. Now, RFK Jr. is part of Trump's transition team, and Trump has strongly indicated that Kennedy will likely have a position in his future administration if he wins. Is this coalition giving hope to those who want change, would you say? I hope that the votes are counted fairly this November uh, with the flaws of the electoral system from restrictive ballot access barriers to the voting machines, how the votes are counted. It is definitely troublesome. Some would say it's slated for Harris to win. Uh, we will see. So I think it's great that we have more voices and more choices running for office. I'm all for uh, Trump, Kennedy, Tulsi Gabbard, and many others uh, putting their hat in the ring. I do foresee an independent movement rising uh, here in the United States of America. And if you go to freeandequal.org, uh, you can sign up. We're going to be hosting our fourth presidential debate this October 23rd in Los Angeles. We have the three candidates that I mentioned beforehand of the third, fourth, and fifth largest parties that are firm to participate, and we hope Trump and Harris will be there as well. Uh, but we're here at freeandequal.org for more voices and more choices, and I see an independent movement with more independent voters than there are Democrats and Republicans co combined in the United States of America. Free and Equal Elections is at the forefront of igniting that independent movement. And thank you so much to NTD. You guys have been support. You broadcasted our last debate, and we hope you can join Rumble and Scripps News and C-SPAN. KPFK and many more are confirmed to broadcast this debate. We'd love to build a long-term partnership with you. Thank you so much for everything you do. Absolutely. And, you know, even more engagement on the part of citizens with this system is always good and, and getting people thinking about the ideas. How do you think third party candidates are going to fare this election? Could we be in for any surprises? 
I think that uh, some of them may get, you know, that 5% threshold, whether it's Kennedy, who still has his hat in the ring for ballot access in quite a few states, uh, maybe third parties. Again, I see them as alternative party candidates. I think they're going to have way more success in 2028. And I think we're going to see uh, a movement rise to really target replacing most members of Congress, D's and R's alike, with independent minded candidates, whether they're using the party line, D's and R's, alternative parties are running as independents. So uh, I think that uh, what they're doing right now, uh, these candidates, they're going to be invited to be a part of something bigger next year. Free and Equal Elections, my nonprofit, will be hosting the United We Stand tour in 2025. Uh, we've been hosting that annually for eight years, and now it's breaking out to a tour. And we'll be announcing it at the end of our presidential debate, October 23rd. Please go to freeandequal.org and sign up for the live stream. It's open source, and the whole world is watching America. And when we rise, uh, love is greater than fear. Love wins, and truth always prevails in the end. A very positive message there, and we are looking forward to that. Thank you so much, Christina. Great to speak with you. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Take care. And you.